Good afternoon, Cherokee Donnie and members of the Education Committee. My name is Tiffany Eason, and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Waialua Elementary in Central District on Oahu. I have been a teacher at Waialua Elementary for my entire 25-year career. I was born and raised in Waialua, and my husband and I are raising our two teenage boys there as well. They are a fourth generation of my family to call Waialua home. Needless to say, I have deep roots in my community, and I am proud to teach in the community in which I live. Wailua is a small town that still revolves around the ideals established by the days of the plantation. Hard work and dedication are highly valued. This is why it is so sad that many of my fellow teachers and I are not being adequately compensated. We are struggling to support our families and make a, make a decent living. I did not ever think that I would be practically living from paycheck to paycheck after 25 years of service. We frequently have to dip into our home equity line of credit to pay for basic needs like car insurance and other um, expenses that arise. After giving more than half my life to teaching, I am now looking at other employment options in order to meet my family's financial needs. My school strives to provide a high caliber education for all of our students. We have received two national blue ribbons in the last 10 years. This type of recognition does not occur without the commitment and dedication of the faculty and staff. If we lose our seasoned teachers, we will not be able to sustain this level of achievement. At this point in my career, I am questioning how much more personal sacrifice I am willing to continue to make and how this sacrifice is impacting my family. My name is Dana Shishido Kobayashi. I teach at Wheeler Elementary. I am a veteran teacher of 30 years. I have two degrees. However, I am not at the top step of our salary schedule. But I have um, struggled most of my career as a single parent. And I want to thank you, Senator Kidani, because when my daughter was a, a Mililani High Trojans, I see your sticker there, she was on the cheerleading squad. And she did, um, their squad was invited to part, um, compete nationally. I did not want to tell my daughter that I couldn't afford to send her. I sold my jewelry so that I could send her to this competition. And I thank you because she, they did win. They won and um, thank you. They won and you did recognize them. That meant the world to all of them. So I thank you for that. Um, my daughter says she does not want to be a teacher because she sees how hard we work. You know, several of us, we do put in 12, 14 hour days. And she says, Mom, you don't make enough money. You know, look at that. We want the Kiki to follow in our footsteps. We want Hawaii to be a better place. How are we going to do that if we do not make this career attractive? During the furloughs, my savings was depleted. My credit card is maxed out because I had to pay for her tuition. I was not able to go myself to the dentist so that she could go because even though I have insurance, I couldn't afford the, the copay. Oh, thank you. I love teaching and I have so much fun at it. And um, I thought how lucky, I'm a culinary arts teacher. I get to teach kids how to cook, how to eat nutritious, and I have the best classes because they're teenagers and they want to eat. <laughs> so it's standing room only in my class. On a side note, my little granddaughter goes to Wailua and my grandkids have all gone there. And so last year, we had our entire eighth grade leave. All the teachers left. And, you know, I told my daughter, you know what, I don't know who's going to be your teacher. We've had fabulous staff out there, but they were pretty young. They were vivacious young, but they couldn't afford to live there on the North Shore in particular anymore. It is this, this pay that these poor young kids that come from the mainland or teach here in Hawaii, it's really hard for them. At Step 11, Class 7, 
I earn only $12,000 more than a first year teacher with a bachelor's degree. That's because of compression. I am looking right now at reducing my after school volunteering. I also do, I'm also an advisor for class clubs and we do community service out on the weekends in our community up in the Kukuku all the way to Mokalaia. I can't do all of that if I'm trying to get a second job to help pay for my daughter's education. We are here to stay if we can afford it. We have a thousand classrooms without a qualified teacher. That impacts about one third of all of our KQ or about 60,000 KQ on a daily basis. The question is how do we solve it? I've actually been getting this question around this building so I want to address it. One of the questions we've been getting is, if you actually pay teachers better, does that improve the quality of teachers? And the answer is yes. And there's extensive research that shows that you, if you have a competitive wage in districts that have competitive wages, not only do you retain teachers, but you also have higher quality as they get more experience. 